Hi guys! So I'm super excited to share with you my MacBook Pro unboxing. It is the 2020 version and it's a new updated one than the one I have now. I have the like 2014 or 13 version for my MacBook Pro. So I want to share with you my customization of the home screen and customization on it overall once we get unboxing this. So let's get started. We're gonna be in a weird angle but it has to be like that so you guys can see me unboxing it. Also I've never done an unboxing video like this so please just know that okay guys here's that weird angle I was talking about but let's get unboxing use some tweezers to get this undone you can see my truth of filming I have stuff all scattered around here and I have a blanket right beside me when I get cold so this has 256 gigabytes of storage and stuff which my last computer didn't have that much so I'm excited to have like double of what I used to have and I'm excited just to have a newer version of this computer because I use it a lot for YouTube and my business. This is so exciting. I hate taking this stuff off because I'm like I do not want it to scratch. But here we go. Oh my lord this is so much skinnier than the one I have now. Here is the little charging cord. So I'm excited that this is detachable so then you can buy a new cord if your cord gets bad because my cord on my old computer is kind of nasty. It's like yellow now, I don't know why. But it still works perfectly but it'd be nice to at least be able to get a new cord but now you can and it has the new little USB cord, something like that, the new cord which is thin. So it has that for charging. Okay, so I know this comes off on the other one. I wonder if it comes with the long cord as well. If it doesn't, I'm going to be sad. I'm just going to use the one I have now. But they used to include that with the old computer that I have. They had like the longer extension cord that you can attach to this to make it long. I don't think they have it because this isn't really coming out. And this seems very light. So I'm definitely going to use the one that I have now to make the, the extension cord. So if you do have an older computer and get a new one, make sure you keep that extension cord so you don't have to buy a new one. So let's get opening this. I'm actually going to go get my other computer too so you can kind of see the size difference. I'm just so happy it's so much lighter. So here's my other laptop. Obviously it has a case on it so you can't really tell the full extent. But obviously it is like half the size of the new one. So that's what I'm super excited about. So let's get this open. Wow, that's very satisfying. Okay. Oh my lord, this looks so nice. I got the space gray one, obviously, compared to my other gray one that I have. I think this darker gray looks more sleek and everything, and I like it a lot better. So let's open her. Oh my goodness, that was nice. And it has the touch bar and everything. And this screen is massive. Is it on? I don't even know how to turn it on. I love how the screen is bigger and I love how the keyboard is a little different too, which is pretty cool. Like these are much bigger than the other ones and it just is more sleek and seems like nicer to type on. So let's try to get this on because I don't know why it's not turning on. And I've seen other people unbox this and they didn't have to charge it, so that is very odd. Oh my god, that just reminded me that it just doesn't have USBs anymore, which is so sad. Oh, it's turning on now. I think it just took a while, or it could be dead. Alright, so I'm gonna deal with all this stuff in a different angle so you guys can watch, but let me show you the accessories I got and put the case on. To use English as the main language, press the return key. It's talking to me now. But yeah, we're going to deal with that in a second. So I got this little adapter USB type C hub. I got this because I know it doesn't have the USB anymore as well. It doesn't even have a SD card slot holder. Which honestly made me sad and actually questionable if I should even get this. But I did because the guy at Best Buy told me that there's this option as well and this option is better so then it cannot be directly on your computer because if you have a case on it sometimes it doesn't work they have ones like that at Best Buy so he said make sure you get one that has like the little cord. So here's this and then it has all of the things I will ever need which is nice and I just plug that into one of my things and it matches this really well so that's really nice and then here's the case that I got for it I'm really avid for cases because I know things can happen and I do not want this dropping 
and breaking or getting really, really scratched. So I got this super cute case on Amazon. I'll link this down below as well as this if you guys want to check it out. Comes with a keyboard, how nice. I love this case, it's so pretty. So let's get you guys in a new angle so you guys can see me actually setting it up and customizing it. It is in English. This is also much bigger than my old one as well. So I'm not going to transfer any information just so when I get my computer set up it can all be super brand new and I can add what I want instead of adding maybe some stuff that I have on my old computer that I maybe don't want anymore. So I'm going to at least sign into my Apple ID. Okay, so this is a new feature that I think that I saw and heard about. So this is Siri that you can use for your computer, which I think is new because I did not have this on mine. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? Alright, this is also new. The older computers don't have the Touch ID thing. Apple Pay on there. That's crazy. Alright, so choose look. Dark or light. I don't know. I kind of like light, so I'm going to keep that for now. Setting it up now. So what I'm first going to do is do that later. I'm going to be removing the dock of what I don't use. Now I'm going to open up Google Chrome. So once I'm in Canva, I can create my computer screen, desktop, and then create some icons for it. So the dimensions are 2.5. super cool because you can pick a lot of these different backgrounds for it you can make your own and it really is ultimately your creativity so I'm going to create a back for this really quick I'm gonna make it pink
So on this, I'm going to go on here and add these pictures. All right, so this is what I'm going to keep for now because I do like this. And what's good about it is you can always change it. Actually, I'm going to put a line in this really quick. All right, so now we have our background done and then I have these designated areas for when I do stickies. You can change the sticky note color. I like pink because then it just goes together. I'm going to do pink and that will be here for now. I might change this to like to-do list instead of stickies but we'll see. And then for folders I'm going to make some new folders and I will show you how to customize the folders. So let's just name this YouTube for now. Okay, so now we are going to go into Canva again. I know I have a little YouTube icon that I want to use for my YouTube folder. If it doesn't have a transparent background, you're gonna have to do it on your own, but I will show you that in a second. I'm just gonna put this as my YouTube. And get out all of the white space. So you go into this tool, highlight it, and as you can see, it has that, and push delete, and that will get rid of all of the white space. Drag or drop, and some computers do that, some don't. Let's see if it does it this time, no. So the option you'll have to do is just highlight it, copy or cut, copy, and then paste it onto here. And see, now it is a little YouTube icon, which is super, super cute. So I wouldn't even need to... Ne put the title on it. Now and then I can show you on Canva if you pick just one of their pictures, you can do the exact same thing. So for my business icon, I want something fun. So let's do like fun and see what comes up. Ooh, coffee. Let's do coffee and see what comes up. Let's just do this for now. So let's make this pink. It doesn't match that too much. We can make it gray. Let's make it gray. And then download. Have to do the same exact thing as we did earlier. And there is a little coffee cup for business, which is super, super cute. And like I said, you can have your own little icons for your folders. And then also what's super nice that I saw on a video is you can get an analog clock for your downtime screen. And then also what I saw is you can get an analog clock for your screensaver when your computer shuts off, which is nice, which I'm going to get. So to get the analog clock, you have to go to this website, Canva. I will also link so you can just click to that if you have never used it before. If not, obviously just type it in. All right, and here is the little analog clock and what it will look like. And there is the option now for when your computer shuts off and you can do it like 20 minutes, 1 minute and all the way up to an hour. So I think 20 minutes is good. Honestly, 10 if I'm not using it is fine. Hot corners is something that I learned too, which is pretty cool, is if you flick your mouse to one of the other sides, it will just automatically come off. So I think start screensaver would be good on the top left because that's where I like that. Lock screen would be good on this other side. No, I kind of want this on the bottom left. So there is the analog clock. And it's 5.01 right now, so that's nice. To get it out of sleep mode, do that. Or to lock it, I can flick it to that side and it is locked. So touch ID or enter password. Into my finger and now it's open. So here's all the cute stuff. And customize control strip. Which right here, I'm going to move it a little closer so you can see. Right here, I already have all my default stuff and you can change it. So that's really crazy. When I go down here, I can actually click the different ones when my mouse is moving as you can see. So what I have right now is brightness, brightness lighter, don't really know what this does, launch pad, so yeah I removed that. Here is keyboard brightness so you can change that which is right here, 
just going to keep that, I guess. Here's the different play media, which I already do have, and sound, and then series on the side. Screenshot can be really helpful because I do a lot of screenshotting. And here's what my desktop looks now if you guys want to see it and can't see it down below. So I'm excited to be able to customize this a little more and get it all ready for me to be able to work and to do school with and finally log into all of my accounts because that is the thing that takes the most time. So I hope you guys liked watching and please comment below if you have any questions on how to do some of these steps that I just showed you and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys!